What's up y'all? It's about time for this upgrade. So I've been rocking with this Rode mic for a while. So, and nothing's wrong with it really, but I just wanted to go ahead and see if I can improve my audio. So I've been kind of doing some soul searching and I actually found uh, this D3, I'm sorry, it's Deity D3 uh, Pro. So I got the whole location kit that comes with the whole kit and caboodle. So I wanna go ahead and just unbox this real quick. And I kinda of wanna see if my audio even sounds better. Cause the Rode mic is pretty good. But from what I've, some samples that I've seen from some other YouTubers, this sounds crystal clear. So let me go ahead and get to this unboxing. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. So I never have my unboxing knife ready. So let's go ahead and cut through this first seal. Use my keys. All right, all right, sucker came right off. And there's gotta be something else that's holding it up. Oh. Yeah, common sense would tell you that <laughs> there's a flap holding it. So, all right, so you, first of all, you get this nice little case. Um, it's not really a selling point for me. Let me go ahead and toss the box to the side. And you have this shock mount that comes with it too. So the shock mount has a handle that you can actually use as a like a boom stick. So if you want to actually use this in a situation where you have a mic above, you can actually use this as a shotgun mic. So um, that's not the, we'll, we'll revisit that, but I believe the actual star of the show, ladies and gentlemen, give me a drum roll, please. All right, so here we go. We actually have the Deity mic itself. So here you go. So they had the little wind muff over it. So it has this little shock mount um, <laughs> hot shoe thing. Um, some people said it's not really that good, but I guess I'll use it or whatever and see how it is. But I guess it's going to be more stable than the one that I have. Um, but yeah, overall, this thing looks like it is made out of pretty good quality, actually. Uh, so you do have, let me do give you a quick tour. You do have a USB-C, it charges with that. So once it's fully charged, you are supposed to get about 51 hours of charge, of usage on this, on one charge. And so you also have an output there for a mic as well. I'm sorry, you have an output port there. Uh, and then what I like about this, uh, you do have some options there for 75 and 150. You also have on the end, so you do have an adjustment for the gain. You can go up to 20 dB. So let's go ahead and take a look. Well, I believe it was 20 dB, but it looks like I see 10. So. Uh, I'll go ahead and confirm that, but ultimately, um, this is this is the mic. So it also comes with, um, in case you may have your own um, audio interface or anything like that, you can actually just. Go, this is an adapter that you can use for XLR. So uh, I thought that was cool. So my whole purpose, of course, yes. Once again, it comes with USB uh, C cord, um, three and a half millimeter audio jack. And so yeah, if you have, um, like I said, if you have a USB interface at your desk or something like that, you can actually hook this up for desktop use. So for me, my whole purpose is actually getting this mic for three purposes. So for situations like this, if I ever want to have a mic above me for a shotgun mic or something like that, I can certainly have a mic set up where this is pointing down at me and it should be able to get audio that way. And then also, I can hook this up to the computer as I just mentioned here with this, or as well, I can hook this up to my camera with the hot shoe mount and I can just use the three and a half millimeter audio output port here and run that straight to the camera. So uh, we'll be back with some samples. I'm actually gonna run a few tests, but right now this video is actually being shot with the audio running from the, the Rode mic. So, I will be back. So just kind of, once again, I'm going to be back and then we're going to compare the two mics so far and just kind of see how the quality is. All right. So catch you on the flip side. 
All right, so this is the first test with the new mic, with the, the Deity mic. So I just wanted to see if it kind of sounds any different in comparison to my Rode mic. So um, this is the first test with that. We'll see how this sounds. All right, so this is test number two with the Deity D3 mic. So this time the gain is actually turned up to level eight in comparison to the last test that was on level six. So I just want to see if there's any difference in the gain, uh, any perceptible difference in the gain between the two. Uh, because I can see, f well, I can hear from the six, level six, didn't quite sound any different as far as the quality, um, at least from what from my perception between the two mics, between the road mic and this. But I just want to go ahead and see how it sounds on eight, and we'll move on. Okay, so this is about five feet back. So I'm actually testing the road mic just to see. And this is with the wind muff on. Both mics are going to have the wind muff on for this test. So with the wind muff, just go ahead and observe all the noise in the background, birds chirping, hammers being hammered, all that kind of stuff. So this is the road mic test. And we're about to go ahead and test the other mic. All right. D3 mic at five feet. Observe any background noises compared to the road mic. But this is a D3 mic once again at five feet. Okay, now we're at 10 feet. So this is the road mic again. We're testing this at 10 feet. Observe any background noise, anything else going on. And we're about to go ahead and switch to the D3 mic. All right, D3 mic at 10 feet, outdoor test. Mic check, one, two. D3 mic. Mic check, one, two. Can you hear me? All right, back on the road again. This is the road mic at 15 feet. Once again, road mic test at 15 feet. Can you still hear me at 15 feet? All right, last test. So this is the D3 mic at 15 feet. So I don't think there would be any reason why I would, <laughs> I don't think there's any reason why I would need to test this beyond 15 feet because for me, between 10 to 15 feet is plenty of space. So once again, this is the D3 test. Testing one, two, three. Outdoor test at 15 feet. Okay, so here we are. Uh, basically, we're at the point of the video where I, I kind of want to give my wrap-up thoughts, final impressions, conclusion. Um, so using this thing just kind of throughout the day, it's I'm kind of torn about this one, honestly. Um, just compare it right now. I'm still shooting this video with my road mic that I started with. And after using the Deity D3 mic versus the road mic in different situations, it just sounds like to me the price difference, price wise, if a, if, let me put it this way if a brand new YouTuber was to come on the scene and ask me what mic would I recommend, I'm probably going to go with the, the road mic that I have set up on the camera right now just because. Number one, it's just plug and play. This one has a battery. It has, a, I believe, a 320 milliamp hour battery that will give you 51 hours of use. You know, I don't think battery, I don't think usage is a problem with this. I'm so used to just having that plug and play road mic. I just plug it in. It doesn't need a battery. It doesn't need power or anything like that. Um, but I'm going to say where this mic stands out is just the fact that it just has more range. Like when I got to the point where I was 15 feet out, this clearly stood out as a winner compared to the, the road mic but however even though this did pick up more i mean because it does have that variable gain which is honestly quite honestly i think this is the selling point for this that variable gain and so you can crank up the gain you're also going to hear more of the subject that you're aiming at but also on the downside you're going to hear more noise in the background because i don't know if you notice it but when i looked at the footage this did pick up more sound, but it also picked up more of the background noise as well. So um, I guess also I got to attribute that to the fact that I don't really have a true wind muff for this, a dead cat wind muff for this. They just have this one that they give you, this little foam one, which is okay. I mean, for the most part, it does the job, but I think there's better. Yeah, I think you can do better than this. But um, overall, I mean, I do like it. I'm not going to say that I don't like it, but between the two, I would probably say for the price, 
the road mic is sixty dollars this retails for if you get this whole kit you know with the um with the uh all the, the little accessories and all of this you know it, you get all of that it's, it's for like 288 the shock mount all of that uh is 288 but if you just wanted to get just this i think they just have just the pro version you might be able to find that for like 200 and then they have the non-pro version for 100 so i think this is just an upscale you know upscale higher quality build version of that 99 dollar one so if you're just like hard pressed for this brand per se if, if you just have to have a d a dd d3 model just get the regular one but um but for me i'm actually going to use this just because of the flexibility uh i can use this as like a podcast and mic or whatnot uh because of this device that comes in here this little uh xlr adapter or so so I can hook that up to a USB audio interface. And this just kind of makes this, this mic more seamless than my Rode mic. But anyways, um, I guess that kind of really thought wraps up my thought. It's just that between the two mics, I think the one that I have does just well. And honestly, I'm impressed for the fact that it can go blow for blow with, with the D3 mic. But uh, ultimately, that's kind of where I stand with this mic. I mean, is is it worth 288? That's kind of up to you. Uh, I would say if you're a noob, you're just jumping on YouTube or something, you just need something that's a quick grab, maybe you get something along. You know, I'm not specifically recommending the Rode mic. I'm not sponsored by anybody. But you can just go ahead and roll with that Rode mic, and that'll, that'll do the job for you at $60 or something along that line, something in that price range. But Deity, I think you did a good job, but I think you need to come down on the price just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. But um, other than that, that wraps up this review, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.